Hey, thanks for checking out the video and I hope you're having a nice day. What are we doing in this one? Well, we are going to take a look at some AA rechargeable nickel metal hydride batteries from Power Owl, as well as their charger as well. Um, they make a bunch of different batteries. They make uh, laptop batteries, uh, power banks and other stuff as well. Little tiny disc batteries, pretty much any type of battery for electronics you can think of. Um, Power Owl makes most of them. A link to their Amazon store will be in the description of this video. Um, as well as a link to this particular setup that we're taking a look at today. Um, but yeah, this company reached out and said, we know your audience likes flashlights and batteries. Do you want to check out our batteries? I said, sure do. So in this video, we're going to be doing just that. We're going to go over the superficial features and functions of, you know, the battery and the charger. And then also, um, I think I thought it'd be a good idea to actually test the capacity of these batteries. This is a Mi Boxer C4 charger and in this fourth bay here, we can actually fully um, charge and discharge the battery to get a picture of the actual capacity of the cell. Yeah, so we're gonna be running that test and then I figured we'll do a more practical side-by-side -side comparison slash runtime test with a couple of Olight i5Ts. These are AA flashlights from Olight and um, basically we're gonna be dropping in the Power Owl nickel metal hydride cell under this colorful i5T and then this cosmic looking one, we're gonna be dropping in an alkaline AA from Duracell. Just to compare side by side, you know, the runtime and kind of output when it comes to bat these batteries. But um, yeah, before we get into the actual tests, I'm just gonna briefly talk about the batteries themselves. You may have seen it earlier, the nominal voltage of 1.2, a nickel metal hydride cell, 2800 milliamp hour capacity stated here. Um, so yeah, we're gonna test to see how close we can get to that. Um, if we're within 80% um, of that number, I'm pretty happy when it comes to um, batteries and stated claims and stuff like that. So we'll see if we get there. Um, but yeah, this is the box. The Power Owl charger comes in. Um, pretty standard basic box, but um, they do give you the USB-A to micro USB charging cable that you need to hook into the either the back or the top of the charger itself, um, however you look at it. And um, let's see, you get your manual as well, which um, looks like it's kind of a map fold out style manual, but you really only have to worry about one column. Um, the rest is just a repeat in different languages. And then I'll, I'll scroll up here pretty quickly. But if you want to read any of this, you can pause the screen and take a look. But yeah, you get the manual, you get the charging cable, and then there's a little information card. Um, kind of just reminding you some of the safety features when it comes to this charger as well. Um, so yeah, this, this charger can charge your nickel metal hydride batteries as well as NICAT. Um, rechargeable batteries as well um, when it comes to double A. So, um, and then yeah, when you do plug it in, you're gonna get a little light show. Uh, that's that's the way I look at it. Let's do this. There we go. There's the light show. Yeah, when you first plug it in, you usually get that little light cadence. And yeah, your LEDs will be solid red when the cells are charging, and then green when fully charged or an empty slot is on this charger. Um, but pretty cool charger. Um, it'll also blink and let you know if there's some, something erroring out, uh, if the battery's not oriented properly or if it's the wrong type of battery and so on. But um, that's the basics of the charger. And before we get into the testing, I just wanna give my thoughts on nickel metal hydride batteries and that battery chemistry in general. And a few different tests on this channel with the AAA size. And I was really surprised at the runtime that these offer. <laughs> these batteries do take a little while to charge, but um, in the past it's been worth it because they also um, take a long time to discharge. So um, yeah, we're gonna see if we get that same type of performance out of these batteries in this video. So I'm excited about that. Um, in my mind, nickel metal hydride batteries, the benefits of them for one is rechargeable. That's the main benefit. So you're gonna save a lot of money over the course of you know your life using these batteries, um, whereas alkalines, you know, it's just one and done. You use them, and then unfortunately they're just done. You got to toss them or dispose of them properly, which is kind of a headache. And with nickel metal hydride batteries, you can just get multiple different charges and uses out of the same cell, which I like a lot. Um, so that's benefit number one. Benefit number two is that these are um, less prone to leakage. Uh, your alkaline batteries, if they're left in electronics for a long amount of time, and especially if they're exposed to temperature fluctuations, you can get that leak, those that leaking and corrosion um, kind of happening inside your electronics, which is no fun. So yeah, nickel metal hydrides are a good way to go. 
And um, with that said, let's go ahead and get in the test. We're gonna start with that capacity test using this charger. So let's get right into it. Let the testing begin. So what we're doing here is popping in a battery. This charger is gonna fully discharge the cell and then fully charge it back up. And at the end, it spits out the milliamp hour capacity um, on screen for us. So this is cell number one. And I did do this to two different batteries because I was pretty disappointed and surprised by the actual milliamp hour capacity of the cell. So the first one has got 2,145 milliamp hours and the second one about the same 2,091 milliamp hour capacity. These batteries were brand new. So, you know, it's kind of disappointing that we did get closer to that 2,800 milliamp hour capacity claim. Um, but just glad we tested it nonetheless. And here we are looking at the runtime slash output comparison with two different flashlights. Um, we've got the Power Owl and the colorful one and that Duracell alkaline AA in the cosmic looking i5T from Olight. And as you can see, there's a difference on paper and um, practically when it comes to these two batteries as well. Fun fact, the milliamp hour capacity of the Duracell battery, according to Google, is about the same as what's claimed on the Power Owl. All right, testing is complete. And unfortunately, we did fall shy of the 2800 milliamp hour capacity claim on the side of the battery, um, hitting about 21, 22, 100 milliamp hour capacity, um, rounding up. But um, that's why we actually test it, and I try to keep it real on this channel if I can. Um, so that's what we got, and then we also compared it in a more practical sense with the, the flashlights as well. Kind of saw that what we were seeing on the charger was pretty accurate in terms of real world as well. But um, with that said, I mean, these batteries, they still have a place, I guess, in my house. I'm probably going to put these in a lot of electronics um, I don't use like super often, like, um, like stud finder or uh, my trusty clock, for example, just pop one in the back. I've been using alkaline batteries in this, but no sense in doing that. I think these will fill that role really well. Be able to recharge them will be good too. Got an old uh, GameCube wireless controller, the WaveBird. These little guys will work well in that as well. Um, but when it comes to flashlights and runtime, I don't think I will be using these personally, but um, in any case, uh, the charger works well. I like how simple it is uh, to use and operate and understand what's going on. I like that it can charge eight simultaneously. That's pretty cool. And Power Owl does have other offerings as well that may be better suited to your needs as far as um, number of bays and um, battery types as well. Hope this video get give you a good look at everything. Um, once again, um, uh, Amazon affiliate links will be in the description if you want to pick anything um, up and support the channel. And um, if you want to pick up an Olight flashlight, my Olight affiliate link's going to be there for you as well. Um, always do appreciate any support. But I mostly just appreciate you watching and hope you um, got useful information from this video. Please do hit the like button if you got value from it. Um, that's all I ask. But otherwise, have a great day. God bless, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.